We all know how brutal the Kingdom Arena is. No matter how hard you try, you die in the dumbest ways possible. Or perhaps opponents with max ascensions constantly drop kick you. Especially if you're completely free to play like me. I'm tired of being the underdog inside the arena. So today, we're gonna try to reach Grandmaster 2. In order to do this, I have to counter every single arena team. Well, that's my plan, but I don't know if I'll be able to pull this off. At one point, I made this goofy Creme team. It's probably not gonna work, but oh well. Anyways, I've been slacking quite a bit. Currently, I'm in Elite 1 and the season ends in 8 days. By the way, as the video goes on, the arena teams are gonna get progressively more difficult to counter. We're gonna start off by countering Frost teams. In particular, the ones with Ice Yeti and one other tank. The other tank's either Hollyberry or Fettuccine. So let's fight this opponent with really high ascensions. And here's my counter, Frost Flop Double Tank. My Frost Flop has 5 Raspberry, so she takes a Burnt Cheese buff. Golden Cheese is also using 5 Raspberry. Unfortunately, the only cookie on my team that's ascended is Snapdragon. It's also risky to fight people using the Paper Charm, but no one uses that on their defense team, so it doesn't matter. If I want to reach Grandmaster 2, I have to defeat opponents way stronger than me. On a side note, there's some variations of the Frost team. There's Crimson Coral ones that look like this, and is countered by Frost Flop Double Tank. There's also people who use Coral and Parfait at the same time. Things get a little complicated when that happens, so we'll come back to that later. The next team I want to counter is a Tri Tank. It always consists of Fettuccine, Ice Yeti, and Burnt Cheese. I use Double Tank Black Pearl to counter this team. I've had more success using Black Pearl instead of Frost Flop against Tri Tank. Usually she dies really fast, but she buffs Golden Cheese's damage a lot. I don't know, that's just me. Let's fight this opponent's triple tank team now. I'm in Grandmaster 3 now, but things started to get really difficult. You see this Black Pearl double tank team right here? Last season, it had absolutely no counter at all. Some people say the Paper Charm was good against it, but nah, it sucks. Using the combination of the Frost Comp and the Paper Charm is just way too inconsistent. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, it was just a big mess. But now we finally have a proper counter to it. Introducing Creme He dominates every single game mode except for Arena. He's way too squishy and only does good damage at the 1 minute mark. He he absolutely needs burnt cheese to survive, otherwise he's pretty much screwed. He also needs to be paired with Snapdragon. The goal of this team is to make Creme survive until the 1 minute mark, so Parfait and Fettuccine are the most popular defensive options. However, I've never had any success with Parfait because she keeps freaking dying. I decided to replace her with Hollyberry. For the treasures, we have to use the Epic Scroll and the Robes, and Creme needs full Raspberry. This is to make sure he can team wipe the opponent. I don't recommend using it against Frostlop because she can freeze Creme Belay. On the other hand, he counters Black Pearl well, which is why I'm gonna fight this really, really stacked opponent with it. They have way more ascensions than me, so this is gonna be a rough one.
Let's go back to the Coral Parfait comp. It's a really solid team because it's decent against pretty much everything. I don't think it counters anything in particular, but it's still a good pick. However, there is a way to break it. I'm gonna use the Frost Flop double tank team from earlier. Except this time, my Golden Cheese is using 5 Chocolate instead of 5 Raspberry. With 5 Chocolate, Golden Cheese is able to mess up the opponent's skill rotation. However, there's a bit of a downside to this counter. If Golden Cheese gets frozen before she uses her first skill, things might end badly. Let's fight this opponent's Parfait team. You wouldn't believe what they're hiding, a 5A Frost Swap and Parfait. If I want to be Grandmaster 2, I have to put up with this stuff, so here we go. Now here's where the difficulty ramps up by a lot. I gotta counter the Frost Flop double tank team. You already saw how it's capable of destroying everybody. It's so good that I even set it as my defense team. But then I noticed something. In my defense log, I kept losing to a Black Pearl double tank. So I decided to start using it as a counter. It's pretty straightforward. Also, let's fight this Grandmaster 1 player. Wait, Grandmaster 1? Well, you heard me right. We're gonna have to fight this Grandmaster 1 right here and hope we can defeat their Frost Flop double tank comp. Let's be real, there's no way a free to play like me can win, right? But I wanna prove that I'm using a good counter, so let's try. Yo, I think this is the first time I beat a Grandmaster 1 in a video. However, there's a bit of a flaw in my counters, and here's why. When we're dealing with double tank comps, opponents can easily hide their middle cookie so you don't know if they're using Black Pearl or Frost Flop. Basically, if you use Creme Brulee and all of a sudden you run into a Frost Flop, you have a high chance of losing. So I think it's much safer to use Black Pearl double tank against hidden middle cookies. But what about the worst case scenario, a Black Pearl mirror match? Free to plays like me always lose because we have worse stats than everyone. To combat this, I can't came up with a little secret trick, and it helps me beat these matchups. It's a secret, so you must swear to not tell anyone else. Only my viewers are allowed to know this, alright? The secret trick I use is giving Burnt Cheese 6% attack speed. This allows him to stun the opponent's Black Pearl before she attacks. If your opponent doesn't know about this trick, then your own Black Pearl doesn't get stunned and she survives. After that, your opponent's Black Pearl gets one shot by Golden Cheese. I'll demonstrate this on a top 100 player. Thanks to my secret Burnt Cheese toppings, I'm not scared of them. It may look like I'm pretty successful inside the arena, but the reality is I lose quite a lot. Especially against Coral Tri DPS, the hardest team to counter. It consists of Coral, Golden Cheese, Frost Swap, Black Pearl, and Snapdragon. The treasures are always a Feather, Watch, and Sandstorm. So here's the thing. If you fight someone with lower stats than you, you're most likely gonna win. You can use pretty much any counter and you'll be able to beat this Coral team. If you fight someone with better stats than you, then you're always gonna lose. When an Ascended, Frost Swap, and Black Pearl beat on you, it's impossible to 
survive. Even my defense logs flood these tri DPSs. I've tried Chinai to get these stronger opponents, but it didn't work. I've tried all my double tank teams, they didn't work either. I've tried Parfait, Full Frost, Crembole, they all failed. The closest I could get to countering it was when I used three tanks. Fettuccine, Yeti, and Burnt Cheese. If I want to reach Grandmaster 2, I have to defeat opponents with better stats than me. So we're gonna face this guy with Ascended DPS cookies. I can confirm it's impossible to counter this team if the opponent's stronger than you. I still need to find a way to reach Grandmaster 2 though, but how? Even though the Coral team's unbeatable, it does have a weakness. It's actually quite rare to come across it while grinding trophies. As long as I counter all the other arena teams, I should be fine, right? Well, there's only one way to find out. It's time to grind to Grandmaster 2 as I'm the free-to-play king. Okay, how the heck did I become this strong? So you should subscribe now, cause I'm poor. Also, my channel is kinda dead, so yeah, just subscribe, alright? I managed to not say sea farty a single time in this video. Wait, ah oh, shoot. 